All right, this video is going to explain how to make a through truss with the angled beams, all angled beams. So a through truss above the roadway with all angled beams. To begin with, you're going to have your printout. You're going to have your design sheet. Yours will be yellow. Mine is white so that my markings show up better on video. You're also going to need a ruler and a pencil, not a pen, a pencil. What you should do first thing first on your yellow sheets, there will be a box to the side and it says design by and class. You need to on the design by put your first and last name. So I'm going to put Mr. Radomski. You should put your first and last name and class will be P whatever, one, two or three, whichever class you're in. Once you have that, we are ready to start looking over our paper and designing. So as you see on our sheet here, uh, we have our blocks for land and this yellow part that I have highlighted yellow is the road deck itself. So this is a part that has to be in your bridge. Uh, you have to have this. This is the bottom beam of your through truss. It's what sets on the testing rig. Um, yours will not be yellow. Mine is just so we can see it. In the center, though, you can see this little dark mark. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. That is our midpoint. That's the midpoint of the bridge. So that is the very middle, very center of our span. That's going to come in handy later on. Okay. So this yellow part is this bottom part of our bridge right here. That is so the road. Before we deck. go on, we need to talk about how tall your bridge is going to be. There is a minimum height set from the road deck to the top beam. That is so that we can get our testing gear in. Okay, so first we're gonna mark a minimum, then you and your partner are going to figure out how tall you're gonna make it. So on our paper here, from our road deck, to set our minimum height, we're gonna go up along the edge here. So we're gonna go right towards the end. So not counting the road deck, we're gonna count up one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Right at the top of that, we're gonna mark a little line on there, a little heavy. You can kind of see that line and write min for minimum eight. So again, we have our line and minimum eight. The reason for that is our testing gear is seven boxes tall. So we want to have at least eight so it has room to slide in and out freely. That is the smallest you can make your through truss in height. Okay? The max is all the way up to the top of the paper. You can make it up that high if you want. That is absolutely fine. As long as you are fully fitting within the limits of the paper, and you are bigger than eight, you're fine. Okay, next step is we have to start figuring out your actual height. So you and your partner are gonna take a moment and you are going to figure, discuss how tall your bridge is going to be. You both have to be the same height. So when you look at the bridge, even though on the computer it might be slightly different, you both on paper on here have to have the exact same height and your corners, your top corners should match up. You're gonna have the exact same bottom because you have to use this road deck piece here. But your top height and your corners have to match up in order for your bridges to be joined together. So you need to make sure you discuss that and figure that out, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, now that we know how tall it's gonna be, we're gonna mark that on our paper. So let's say you and your partner decided on 14 boxes tall, right? So we know where eight is. This is eight boxes right here. So we're going to go up 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. On my 14th box, what I'm going to do is trace the top, the bottom, and the left side. I'm going to go over them. Basically, what I'm doing 
is tracing the outline of that box. Okay, so I'm tracing the outline of that box on those three sides. This is gonna be the beam. Our actual wood that we're building with is one box wide by one box tall. So when it's long, however long we cut it. So it's the same thickness as these boxes. So this is basically gonna be the top of our top beam and the bottom of our top beam. Just like the road deck is the exact size of the beam that you're gonna make. So we're gonna put that there for now. What we're gonna do then, really lightly, and it'll be easier once I lift the paper up, we're really lightly going to line up the ruler with our lines and very lightly draw across the paper to the other end of the bridge. Just really lightly. You just want the lines dark enough so that you can just see them. Yeah, you can tell us just barely see the lines on here. Some of this will get erased, especially on the ends here and here where it's a little bit extra. Uh, we just want those lines marked so we know where to stop. This line that we just drew, the beam, is going to be this top beam of our bridge here. So you can see how it's a little bit shorter than our main beam, and that's okay. We just wanted to have it so we knew where it is on our paper that we're drawing. Next thing we have to do is going to relate to the midpoint here. We have to figure out where our connections are going to be on the main road deck beam. Once we figure out those connections, we can then figure out our top connections. So to do that, uh, we need to first kind of compare. So this here on our paper, the given line is the midpoint here. On your printout, the midpoint is this center junction all the way down right through the top beam where the number is. All right, so we got our 10 up here, our 24 meters long here. This line right down through the middle is our midpoint. What we're going to be looking at is how many sections we have along the bottom. Well, we know total if we just count our beam pieces, we have six. So we have three on each side. That's going to be important, okay? So what we're going to do is count how many boxes there are from the middle point to the end. It doesn't matter which direction you go, it should be the same since this is the middle. So I'm going to give you a moment to go ahead and count how many boxes there are from the middle point to the end of the road deck. Okay, if you counted all those boxes and were accurate, you should have 36 boxes. That's how many you should have. What we have to do then to find our spacing is take the total number of boxes on that half and divide it by the number of sections we're going to have on that half of the bridge, which is 3. So if you take 36 and divide it by 3, you get 12. So we have 12 boxes that we have to go over, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start here on this very end box. And we're going to fill that in carefully, coloring inside the lines. We're filling the boxes in where we're going to have connections, okay? So that's everywhere we have one of these connections on our paper. Connection, 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 connection in the middle, connection, connection, and connection. At every one of those connections on here, we are going to be shading in along the road deck. So our first one was right here. What we're going to do, since we know 12 is our magic number, we're going to go over 12 boxes and fill the next one in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In the 12th box, we again shade it in carefully inside the line so that you can see the corners clearly. We're going to go over 12 one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, color in the lines. And that went outside the lines. Shucks. Got. Okay. We're going to skip the middle point right for now. 
and we'll show you why in a moment. Now we're gonna go over to this end and do the same thing. So we're going to shade in the very end box. We're gonna move over 12 and fill it in again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we shade that in. Go over 12 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And again, shade in the 12th box. The reason we left the middle is because it's actually a split of the middle line. So the middle is actually a line, not a box. So we have to split the line of the middle around there. So we're gonna draw a regular box width, but on both sides. So we're splitting this box in half and splitting this box in half. So that you can see that a little more clearly, we split our lines here down the middle. So our box is actually in the middle of the boxes. That's okay. So there is our road deck connections drawn. Now we're going to focus on our upper beam. And as you can see, since this is all angled beams, our upper beam connections are right down in the middle of our lower beams. All right. So we know that this distance here is 12 squares. The distance to the top should be six squares. So if our whole space is 12 wide and the connection's up top in the middle, it'll be six over. So that's gonna be really easy. So how to do that, we come back to our paper. We start here. And again, we've marked out our top beam right here. So we're gonna start here and count over one, two, three, four, five, six. And we go straight up. And in the middle of that top beam, we fill that in. Right on that sixth spot on the top beam. We come over, do it again. Now you could count 12. It's quicker just to count the six. So you come over again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come straight up. Make another connection. Draw that in on the beam. Come over again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Straight up. And you continue that throughout the rest of the bridge. So I'm going to come in again from the end just so that I know it's the same and even across the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are our top boxes all marked out. Now what we can do, since this on the end here is the end of that top, as you see again, that is the end. It does not go all the way out. So anything past here, anything past this point here, we can get rid of. So we're just going to erase past that. And then we're going to come to the other end. We got light lines past this point here. Since this is our end, we're going to erase that. And now again with the ruler, we're going to come in and connect more solidly from this end to this end on both the bottom and top of the beam. We're going to make our lines a bit more solid, a little darker and easier to see. Again, keep the ruler straight. Make sure you're holding it so it's not going to move on you. You don't want big, dark erase lines all the way across your paper. You want it to be clean. Okay, so again now we've made our beam a bit more clear, a bit more obvious what we're doing. Now that we have our beam, uh, top beam and the road deck beam, now we have to start adding in our angled beams. Now for this design, we have all of our angles here. Now you have to connect some of those beams directly from the top to the bottom. 
So you have to figure out which beams are going to connect top to bottom and which beams are going to connect to the main. So we have what's called primary beams. Okay, so we have primary beams. Primary beams. Primary beams are the ones that go from top to bottom. We have secondary beams. The secondary beams connect the primary. They connect to the primary beams. So the first thing we have to do is figure out where are our primary beams. It works best if you kind of set them up in a pattern. So in my case, I'm going to do this end one because I want the ends of my bridge. So I'm just going to put a little line right down my beam. Mark that with a P to show that's primary. I'm going to do the same thing to this one that runs the same direction. And the same thing to this one that runs the same direction. So all these beams on the left side lean in, which should help distribute the weight around the structure. For the right side, I'm going to do the other direction. So I have these three, again on the end, and then the two coming in that match its direction. These are all my primary on the right side. That means that my secondary pieces are here in the middles. Now what I will have to do in this center section, since I have two angles, one of these is going to have to be a primary down at the bottom. So let's say this part right here is primary, but up here it's secondary. Because one of these two parts in the middle is going to have to connect. So we'll make this one connect to the bottom. It'll connect against the primary here. This one is just secondary all the way through. That'll make more sense here in just a moment. So we have our primaries, our three primaries from each direction. That way we know the weight is connecting top to bottom in between the beams. Our secondaries are going to connect to the, the primaries, not. So let's add those in, starting with our primaries. So coming to our paper, we're gonna start with the end. Now it's really important when we do this that we connect, I'll try to get close here, we connect the bottom edge of the top beam with the top edge of the bottom beam. We cannot go through the beams at all. It's solid wood. So when we connect this end beam, we are going to connect the bottom left corner, bottom left corner of the top beam to the top left corner of the bottom beam. And the top right corner of this square to the bottom right corner of this square. We're going to make a beam. If we do it right, this part that we draw should be the same width as our top and bottom beam or one box wide. So we're lining this up, keeping our ruler or our pencil on those corners. So go bottom right of that square to top right of that square. That looks nice and connected. Bottom left to top left. Okay, so I've drawn it. And as you can see, it is one box wide going all the way down. So that's my primary here. It connects the top to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing for this beam here and this beam here. So you can follow along. Again, bottom left to top left, bottom right corner to top right corner. Now again, the corners are of these shaded boxes where we are connecting our beams. So again, you can see it's here. Once again, bottom left corner of connection box to the top left corner, bottom right corner to top right corner. Now I have my three primaries done. I'm going to do my three primaries on this side. Exact same process, it's just reversed angled. I like to start in the end. So now I'm going top right corner of the bottom to the bottom right corner of the top. Top left corner of my bottom beam to the bottom left corner of my upper beam. Same process. The parts are still one box wide. So I'm going to do this for all of my primary beams. OK, 
cut. One more primary beam again. I'm just going to the edges between them. I'm not continuing my line through. I'm not dragging it down to back here. That wouldn't work. I'm stopping at the corners of each. So here are my three primary beams in each direction. I'm now gonna add my secondary beams, these main secondary beams on each side, and then I'll show you the middle and how that's a little bit different. We do our secondary. We are going to connect the top, according to my design anyway, we are going to connect the top of the left beam to the bottom of the right, all right? So we're going to go to this top corner right here, top corner right here, that is gonna come down to where this angle meets one line up from the road deck. So right there, where one line up meets. This bottom corner is gonna meet where the one line down meets this edge, so right here. So it's gonna be still one box wide. So I'm gonna put my pencil one line up on this bottom corner here. And I'm going to line that up with the very top corner right here on the inside corner. Now I come to the bottom corner. I line it up to where the one line down meets on our end beam. Now you can see clearly that this beam ends right here. This main beam continues. The secondary beam connects here. And the secondary beam connects to the side of the main primary right here. The secondary beam is shorter, it connects to the primaries. We're going to do the exact same step here. So again, one box up along this inside edge to the top inside corner, bottom corner to one box down on the inside edge up top. Again, same thing. We're going to switch directions on this side. Same exact process, same placement, just on the other side. So my top corner here is going to come to one box up on this edge. My bottom corner is going to be one box down on this edge. So I'm going to line all those up. And connect. Top corner, one box up. There we go. Again, same process. You can see I have my secondary beam connecting to my primaries, not the main top and bottom beam. So we're going to continue this on. One box down to the bottom corner. One box up to the top corner. And there we have our regular secondary beams. The middle one, as we said on our plans, we are going to put this bottom of this one as our primary touching the bottom. And it'll connect to the secondary. And then part 19 on mine here would be the secondary. So that'll go well. So I'm going to start down here at the top right corner. So again, you see, remember when we put our box around here, we've got a top right corner and a top left corner. So we, our top right corner is what's going to connect to the top corner here. So top corner to top right. The top left corner is going to connect one line down. So that left side will be, the top will be just like a regular secondary beam. So my top right corner of my middle box goes to the very top corner. The top left corner goes to one box down along the side. So again, one box down along the side, matched up with my corners here. The next beam we put in, the last beam, will be the same as all of our regular secondaries for over here. Top corner to one line up, bottom corner to one line down. So again, top corner to one line up on that edge. Let me go one line down to the bottom corner. And there you have it, a completed through truss with angled 
beams.